So I did show you a very quick printmaking demonstration at the beginning of our unit, and hopefully you saw a couple of mini printmaking videos, but I wanna break it down a little bit slower for you guys. In order to print, you're going to need your block that's carved, and I'm using a different block today, that's me. And you're going to go over to the counter, and I have some stations set up, and each station has a bench hook again. I use the bench hooks for carving and for inking. And you have this rolly thing at your station, that looks kind of like a roller, but it's technically called a brayer. So you have a brayer also. And to start with, we're going to be using printmaking ink. I will also encourage you guys next week to start bringing in some shirts or bags or things that you wanna print on. And then we might be using a slightly different material for fabric. But to start with, we're gonna be using ink on paper. And I wanna encourage you guys to use black ink on white paper for your first three prints. We are going to be making about 20 prints. So the first three should be black and white. And I know some of you have already started that, but please, even if you have one or two that are black and white, do a third or a fourth. And the tubes of ink are new, but my other classes use them before you. So they should be pretty thick about the consistency of toothpaste, but please don't use it in your mouth. But if for some reason they're a little runny, I always encourage you to grab paper towels if you need to. And I always have like an extra paper towel next to me when I print. So if I get ink on my fingers, I can wipe it off. If the ink's a little runny, I can wipe it off. Or last period, somebody put way too much ink on, they just had to wipe a little off. So you're gonna put your blob of ink on the bench hook and then you're going to start rolling it with the brayer. And when you roll it, I start by going up and down and sometimes you get these little gaps here. It's hard to kind of see, but I have like that little gap there. So sometimes I also lift up my brayer and put it down in a new spot. And I know you can't tell the pressure, but I'm actually going pretty light. You don't want to press hard on the bench hook because then it's just kind of like a snow plow. It just pushes the ink around. But then I also want to go back and forth to really spread out. So see how I'm lifting my brayer up and putting it down in a new spot? I moved my bench hook so you guys can see it better, but your bench hook will remain on the edge of the counter. And then it starts to make this great noise when it's smoothing out. It's kind of hypnotic. And people get so intrigued by it, they just do this the whole time. But snap out of it, people. Once the ink is spread out, then it's time to put it on your printing block. Now notice, I didn't put ink all on the edge here because I tend to lean also and get ink. You can see it, like it's right on my belly of my smock. I try not to put ink on the edge because then I tend to get it on the edge of my clothes. So that's just a little tip. But once you have your ink rolled out and it's pretty smooth and even, then you're going to start rolling it onto your carved out block, God bless you. So there's my block and I'm going to roll it out. And a lot of people just go, okay, yeah, my ink's on there. No, no, no. Go back a couple times, go back and forth. Make sure you get the corners. Now you can press a little harder and really make sure your ink is on there nice and even. Printmaking is super awesome because you can make a mistake and learn from it and instantly go back and make a change. So if you put too much ink on this one, your next print you make, you use less ink. If you don't put enough on, then you add more. So you can instantly make changes. So try to make it really even though. Do the best you can on every print. And then once you get it on there and you feel good about it, I turn the brayer around and I park it on the back of the bench hook so the handle's nice and clean and dry and the next person can use it. Now for our first set of prints we're gonna do, we're gonna take it easy. Every day I'm slowly gonna up the ante a little bit. And for the first set of prints we do, I'm just gonna leave my block right where it is if it's really messy or crowded, you can kind of drag it a little bit if you need to. And I simply take my piece of paper, write my name on it. I even have pencils over there for you. And I just place my paper right on top. We're gonna to start out really simple. We're not even gonna talk about centering it yet. We just put the paper right on top. You don't have to do anything crazy yet. No flipping of your block. And some printmakers have really awesome presses that press and put pressure on the paper and the block and the ink. 
we're just gonna do it by hand. I have these little things, they're rubbing sticks. They look like spoons. Spoons work, but these are a little different. Put your finger in, do little circles, little circles, little circles, little circles, big circles, big circles, big circles, big circles, corners and edges and corners and edges. And I like doing black and white for my first bunch of prints because I can see through the paper a little bit. And the first bunch of prints are really just to practice and get your technique down with the ink. So I'm doing little circles. I'm not really hitting it. I'm just kind of pressing it. I'm applying a decent amount of pressure. You can peek if you want. Oh, looking good. But once you pull it off, you can't really put it back on. So you can only peek. And then when you think you're ready, you very dramatically and carefully peel your print paper off. And this is called pulling a print. And you pull your paper off and hopefully the ink has transferred from your block onto your paper. I did, this is me. Do, do I look familiar? <laughs> yeah, that's my self portrait print. But you guys can see it looks a little old fashioned, right? That's kind of the style of printmaking and that's okay. There's some spots where maybe I would do like a little more ink, but I'm also looking right now, there's a spot like on my forehead here where I wanna carve more. For most of us, our first print is our artist proof. And you you will want to go back and make some changes. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that.